Right then, continuing with my little theme of PlayStation 1 games, I'm going to be playing Medal of Honor, the very first one. And it's a game that I played last night, I'm only going to be able to sort of blast through the first level, um, because when you play this on the PS3 for some reason, or at least my model of PS3, I'm not sure to what extent this problem expands itself into um, yeah this is just a game breaking bug so I'm going to hit record which always helps and have a look at the first level well there's seven levels allegedly and sort of like 24 no seven missions and 24 levels on the game um, probably one way to get around the whole issue of it crashing would be to just use a level select cheat I assume you know I assume that there's one out there for a game like this it's quite a popular game um, so oh um, no I don't right so yeah um, it, one problem I had with this game was the controls last night and I don't know whether it's going to have loaded what I need to do to counteract the problem um, it's similar to Goldeneye on the N64 um, I don't know how many of you will have played that game and just sort of immediately I've had to change the controls um, which I'm going to have to do here now with this game um, because for me the, the default controls for GoldenEye suck balls um, I prefer to change it to the control scheme that is like the Turok control scheme um, so what I'm going to do here is go into the options um, and select the controller player one configure this and it's that one that we need and I press X to choose that and then I go back so now we should have a control scheme that's a little more familiar um, you know the sort of control scheme that you get with games like Call of Duty and pretty much every other major first person shooter game and the loading the loading times aren't great for this game on the PS3 so uh, I'm not sure what what it'll be like on if you actually play the game on PS1 hardware nowadays I'm assuming it'd take a little bit longer so Right, we start here, and uh, you got that whole thing that GoldenEye sort of started where you shoot the character and then they react, um, and you have to, you know, sort of get a headshot to take them down with one hit. Um, and preferably in the face and not on the metal helmet because uh, that won't kill them. You see there. Enemies drop weapons, you walk over them to uh, basically replenish your ammo. And you can reload. Um, as you can see, obviously, if you don't know, the game is based in World War II and you're battling against the Nazis. Nobody wants to be a Nazi. And. Uh, not that way, that's the way we came. It's kind of dark and dingy. Um, doesn't help that, that um, there's quite a bit of glare coming off the TV. I can actually see myself like a mirror in the TV. Um, so yeah, we, we walk down this road and uh, like you can see there, this guy's incapacitated and we can shoot him in the head. Uh, who's shooting me? I'm a little bitch hiding in the bush. Yeah, rape that motherfucker. Ooh. Someone else around here somewhere. I can hear him. Yeah. There's a little prick. 
There he is. Yeah, the game controls nicely. Um, frame rate isn't too bad, it's quite uh, slick. I do actually think that the PS1 games have date dated a lot better than N64 games have. Um, this game keeps a far well, f f from what I've played of the game so far, um, it keeps a far steadier, more consistent um, frame count. I mean, the character design looks like it's, um, and the reactions look like the, the straight out of the Golden Eye rule book. And you know it's pretty obvious why the uh, oh we've got a game breaking bug on the first level now. Great. So um, yeah, this is what was happening on the second level. And the problem is that you cannot actually. Well, uh, no, you can't even walk through it to progress. You just come to a complete halt. So, I didn't have that problem when I played the first level last night. So, it appears to be just random. So, I'm going to return to base now, as it says there. And I'm going to load my game from the memory card. Load the password. Let's go back. I want there to just be an option. Is there an option on here? Is it war records that we have to use to load? Mission log. Uh, I think. I'm just going to put us back onto the first level. Yeah, it's chucked us back onto the first level. Um, how do I load? Oh, loading time is getting kind of tedious now. I'm pissing about, just chopping and loading and shit. There is multiplayer mode. I think you can play like. Did you play four player? Uh, no, just two player. Um, ah, load, there we go. Checking memory card, we go. Uh, there we go, that's the one. 4% of the game complete. Epic. Right. So now we shall try and progress through the second level, which is a level where you go around the town, shoot a radio, shoot all the Gestapo, and encounter game breaking bugs when playing on the PS3. Possibly a game I will have to play on my actual. PS1 or even the PS2, I, I suppose that might work. So we jump in, shoot some motherfucking Gestapo Nazi ass motherfuckers. There's a the radio. Blow that piece of poo up. And just run through the town, shooting everybody. 
If it moves, make sure it no longer moves by shooting it. Eat lead, bitch. And if you don't like that, eat dick. I think the game is kind of lacking some atmospheric music. I mean, nowadays, these sort of games you can get away without background music, but you have to have, you know, the bombers flying overhead and just like loads of channels of audio. Kind of annoying when there's enemies that you have to shoot that are kind of off the map and inaccessible. So we have a bridge here. Shoot these bitches. Um, so it was down here where the game basically breaks. There we go, you can see uh, just eternal nothingness again. I wasn't lying. Um, um, somebody's shooting at me, where the fuck did he come from? Uh, yeah, so. Can't go down here. So we shall carry on over the bridge and we won't be able to actually complete the bloody level. So if you're planning on playing this game just using a PS3 then it's probably not a good idea picking it up. Um, if you've only got a PS3 um, and you haven't got a PS1 or PS2 then um, yeah, you're supposed to find some hideout, but I'm I'm guessing the hideout's like through that door there. Yeah, um, I can hear somebody, but. Uh, I can't see anybody to shoot. There's someone shooting at me now as well. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, that is Medal of Honor for the PS1. A game that doesn't take too, too kindly to the PS3, it would seem, but um, it does appear to be just as good as. Medal of Honor Underground which I played many many moons ago and it's definitely a game worth playing if you're a fan of GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64